Alrighty folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, it's like the middle of May and it's freaking 40 degrees out. What's going on? Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> Anyways, no worries. First off, I gotta thank Ruger Firearms for sending me their Ruger American 350 Legend Go Wild. Oh man, this is such a sweet rifle. Check out this camouflage, dude. This is like three-dimensional awesomeness. It's got the uh, bronze, the burnt bronze Cerakote bolt handle receiver in the barrel. Pretty awesome. Speaking of the barrel, it's a 22-inch barrel. I think it's like a number two contour. It's not, it's not a pencil barrel by any stretch. It's got an awesome 5 8 by 24 threaded muzzle brake on the end there. Pretty awesome. Up top, I've got the new Vortex Strike Eagle 5 to 25 power by 56 millimeter main objective. Has a 34 millimeter main body. For some of you guys not familiar with the 34 millimeter main body, you are afforded so much more windage and elevation adjustments. This scope has 110 minutes of angle adjustment total. That, you know, for its optical center, that's plus or minus 55 MOA, which is just crazy. Sitting on top is a Tacticam 5.0. You know, I'm still having kind of issues with it, higher magnifications. I'm still trying to work through it. But anyways, hopefully I'll get it set up here in the future. I am shooting the Lehigh Defense Prototype 350 Legend 150 grain control fracturing bullets. I've got these loaded with some powder. <laughs> but you know me, I am very reluctant, in fact not reluctant, I just will not publish any reload data. Why? Because I think it's my responsibility to be responsible. I'm not responsible for your actions. There you go. So anyways, I can tell you this, I'm getting around 2,460 feet per second with a 22 inch barrel. I thought I would be getting more speed versus the 20 inch uh, APF barrel that I have on my AR, but that's no problem. So I've got a target set out at 100 yards. Let's go ahead and shoot some uh, three-shot groups. What do you say? Oh, by the way, before I forget, the awesome Duramag magazines. In fact, this rifle ships with the Duramag magazines. These are AR-style mags. That's another awesome feature of this rifle. Let me get the uh, phone scope going on. Okay. If you guys notice on the target, there's a hole in the bottom left hand. I was just getting the rifle bore sighted in. Let me get the tactic cam going as well. Wait for the buzz. All right, there's the buzz. All right, here we go. I'm going to shoot the top left target first. By the way, I've got the Caldwell Fire Control System. This is an awesome rest. All right, here we go. in the bullseye. All right, let's move to the uh, top right hand target. Barrel's a little bit warm, but it's not getting too hot. Now we're cooking. Yes, sir. Cooking with gasoline. Nice. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. That's half inch right there. I tell you what, man, this is like my, I think my third Ruger American. I've got a 300 Blackout 22 Magnum 350 Legend. Man, I tell you what, for the price, you can't beat these rifles. I don't know what the barrels, where the barrels are made, but I tell you what, they are definitely humdingers, barn burners. 
and what other whatever other cliche you could think of. Gotta like them apples. Oh yeah, look at that. Almost two shots, same hole, one a little bit high. It's easily half an inch. All right, folks, that's pretty sweet, man. Check this out. So this is the phone scope laser rangefinder zoom adapter, man. That's pretty sweet. So for all you trolls out there that doubt the ranges I shoot, <laughs> it's too bad. All right, folks, using the new phone scope laser rangefinder adapter. Uh, right around 307 yards. All right, folks, let's see how good the uh, 350 Legend Ruger American Go Wild does at distance. Here we go. I'll get the phone to go or uh, Tacticam going. Okay, here we go. In fact, we come up half a minute. We go back to the right half a minute. Okay. Go for the uh, six inch circle on the right. Impact, favoring left edge. Come back to the left. I've got a pretty decent wind, probably about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Let's try that. Stay on the right target. There we go, dead center. All right, let's start sending them. Oh yeah, let's do another one. Nice, just about the same hole, folks. Heck yeah. All right, let's let the barrel cool down. Yeah, so if you look at the left-hand target, I think I was trying to shoot through some brush, give you a perspective of where I was shooting from. And then the right-hand target is the one that I was just hammering. Oh, look at that, I broke my strap, that's okay. Look at that, folks, I put three shots at 307 yards, man. That's awesome. You can see the wind blowing. Anyways, man, I am very impressed with those results. All right, folks, this Neato with AP 2020 Outdoors. Let me tell you this. Ruger American 350 Legend Go Wild. Man, it's a beautiful rifle. And it, it's awesome that it shoots as well. Of course, I've got the Ruger trigger down to like, it's like two pounds. 11 ounces average. I'll do another video showing the actual trigger pulls. This obviously is a simple trigger to adjust. I think it goes to like from two, two and a half up to five pounds maybe. Barrel man, once again you can't beat these Ruger American barrels for the price, you know. I mean every one I've shot has been a sub MOA rifle, no doubt. All right folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Remember, support that Second Amendment. By the way, Check out the video before this, the 10,000 subscriber giveaway video. I think I'm like maybe 40 subscribers away. Man, you guys got to enter. Just comment. I'll get your name in the drawing. I thank you. We'll see you all later.